Pull this bar. Push the floor up. Next slam in. And there we go. Welcome to Sheep School. Today, you'll see behind me a piece of equipment called a cotter crate. This machine is here for the day. I have an opportunity to try it out. In my mind, the hardest thing I will ever do with sheep all year is them first few jobs with lambs. So thanks to the boys from uh, the Cotter Crate, Nick and Jack, two brothers. Nice guys, spoke to them down at the Plough and Championships last year. Was very impressed with this. It was in the innovation tent, had a good look at it. So they've sent it up to me for just today, just to use it, see what I think. So I'm just going to give you a look at it, somebody actually using it. So have a look, see what you think. This is the operating principle. So you have a gate, front and back, a little gate that flips over there. You have, it's almost like a clamp, combi clamp, but the difference is, when you push your, this side over, you push it over with your knees, you'd see the floor actually drops. So you're not just clamping your sheep, you're immobilizing them because their feet are actually off the ground. They're stuck in between this feet. So the sheep or lamb actually lose all their power, can't wrestle with you. So I'll just give you a look actually. So when I push this over, so I'm just pushing it over with my knees, I hope you can see that. When I push it over, once it gets to a certain point, you'll see the floor actually just drops. They're caught in between the V sides. They've no power to wrestle with you. And then to release your lamb, you just pull the bar and it pulls back. So your floor is still down. So your lamb has dropped down there. To put the floor up again, you'll see just behind me here, a little bar with my heel. So I press that bar and up comes, the, up comes the door. So the door locks in again. I'll try and give you a look here at the lamb coming in. Hopefully he'll come now. See, there's the lamb caught now. His feet are off the ground. So he's totally immobilized now. I have my clock. The load cells are built into this, so it's not actually on the ground. Another better wee point. So there's no leveling. So you'll find my readers after I have it on a loop recording. So it's after picking up his tag, it's recorded his weight. So that kind of does that itself. So click is the next job. Now, you'll see just to release me lamb, I just pull the bar back and my lamb drops down. So there he's down on the ground and he can go on out now. And I just put my floor up and let the yo run through. You'll see here, I just pull this bar and that slides it back, drops the lamb down and then I stand on this to put the floor up. There's my lamb down. Stand on that, the floor comes up. I can let my yo through here. So I'm just letting the yo straight through the front. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Better just close this front gate. The lamb coming. So I have to back pee under the skin. My lamb is well, uh, curtailed I think you'd call it. He's uh, settled anyway, he can't really move at all because he's pinned in here. The click is the next job. That's it. So my EID reader is scanning all the time here. So it's picking up the tag through here. It's already scanned and recorded his weight here. So I can let me lamb down here. I just pull this bar. The floor has already dropped. You'll see the lamb he drops down. I can let him down nice and handy down to the floor. I can put up the floor, the floor is locked. And then I can let, I'm not doing anything with the O's so the O's can go on through. Then I can just catch me lamb then and repeat the process. So there's the lamb actually, 540 grams of a growth rate. It'd be great if they'd all do that, but that's an exceptionally good growth rate. I'd say if we average in 300 grams, it's pretty good this time of year.
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So you'll see my reader here, there's a little, a good little tray, good design here, little tray, so if I, rather than picking up the reader every time, I have it on a, a loop here where it's trying to find an EID tag, so if I move my reader roughly in line with the tag, it'll work, a stick reader will sit there lovely, but it'll pick up his tag and then it'll send up the record, it'll give me the live weight gain. I'll just give him his hepto IP. So you'll see something here, I was a little bit, well not saying sceptical, I was a little bit worried that you're, you're pulling the thing, your lamb is falling down to the floor. You can actually uh, manage the speed that the lamb falls at. If I pull that slowly, he just hits the ground nice and steady there. He's not slapping down, hitting the ground very hard. So another useful thing is the working height. I'm doing everything with lambs here at a nice height. Whereas if you're working in a race, you're down here, you're bent over, the back gets sore. If you have a few hundred lambs to do, the back soon gets sore. So this is a great height for doing anything with lambs or sheep. It just makes a lot of sense to be working up here. The one thing I was kind of worried about was the ramp. My sheep have never actually worked up a ramp They've never come up a ramp into any handling system and I thought I'd be struggling handballing them all up the ramp but surprisingly good, they're flowing nice and freely through this. It's, uh, it's working well. So something else to probably show you is my lamb, I can drop my lamb down here and I have an optional uh, diverting area down here so I can actually swing this over and I can divert my lamb out here because out to the side you'll see I can let them out that way or that way and then again I can divert again left or right down here so you have three way drafting on it which is pretty handy if you were doing it with, in terms of weight now it's all manual uh, drafting but look does it really matter auto drafting is crazy money anyway so if I want to let me lamb out that way yeah and then go ready there he, he'll come out this way and I can just let me yo run on there
Here's another wee uh, nice touch. It's a nice touch on this machine. Nice soft rubber um, devices for your needles because I've often seen myself rooting at something and you're trying to find the cap to put it on so you don't damage the needle when you're putting it down. But it's all nice soft rubber. Drop your needle in. You know you haven't damaged the tip of the needle so you're not hurting the lambs when you inject them. Now, so release me lamb. Here we go. Pull this bar. Push the floor up. Next lamb in. And there we go. He's well settled. And he's automatically red. The reader's scanning there. It has his tag red. Now, so the jobs I'm doing today click, weigh and uh, Heptavac P. I would normally be drenching uh, for this as well. But I knew uh, the Connor boys were sending this up to me and I was running a bit close for the um, nematodirus trench. So that, if I was doing that, that hangs up here on this uh, rod. So you have no backpack on, it's just hanging beside you. You drop your um, dosing gun in there. So uh, these boys have really thought of everything. Like it, it really is a masterpiece of equipment. And if you're wondering, I'm not actually receiving anything for this, just the use of it for the day, which I am very grateful for. But this is an honest review of it now. It is a master, master piece of equipment. All stainless steel. Everything on it is stainless steel or plastic or rubber. So pretty durable stuff now. It's the kind of machine that's going to last forever, forever. I see some of my galvanised race already starting to rust, so can't beat stainless steel. Oh, a little bit of aluminium there, that's aluminium checker plate there. So. My little helper's just arrived now. Enya's here with me today. She's enjoying the bit of sheep work, aren't you? You love the sheep? Yeah. Yeah? Who's your favourite sheep man on telly? Ew. No, who's the other boy you love? Mama. No, the other sheep man we watch on telly, who is he? Who's your favourite sheep man? She says me, I'm sorry Cammy. See me, I'm the favourite. So we're going well here. We're getting through them nicely. The yos are flying up the chute here. Lambs are actually flowing quite well too. So we have a good few lambs left here at the end. Girl, she's the fun of the race. Yeah, this one. Come on. So this is just showing you a yo in it. So there's a small setting that you can change to adjust the time that the floor drops at. So she's fully subdued there. So a nice little design on. Just come round here, Robbie. You'll see this. So a nice little design there. Uh, for dagging, you can get in here, so you have access to our back end there. Good tool for working on sheep because your sheep, same thing as the lambs, she's suspended here. Uh, very good for dosing, bolusing, your yo is fully uh, suspended here and no rest and she's had a nice height for working at so it's actually good for yo's too. In my mind when I seen it down at the plough, I thought lambs, it was specifically for lambs. But it's surprising how good here it is for sheep as well. It's quite good at uh, catching them as well. So, right, we let this lady go. So she can just drop to the floor as well. It's perfectly fine for the O's. So there you go. She can go on out. There she's gone. Now, I have a lamb here with an extremely sore ear. If you look at that, that is a mess. Absolute mess. I'm not sure. I'd swear it's a bit of off actually growing there in his ear. So what I'm going to have to do is cut this tag out. You'll see it's an eye in him. It actually hasn't stopped his growth. He's thriving well. But I'm going to have to cut this tag out and re-tag him. So I'm just going to stick a new tag in the other side and record him on the ID reader. So I'll just do that now.
So that's him re-tagged. So if I scan the old tag, that's the old tag. Okay. And then that's the new tag. Save task, so that's it recorded now. Lovely job. So I just cut out this old tag. It's nasty looking, horrible looking thing. There we go, that's it out now. Now, gonna put a bit of blue spray in it. It's a horrible looking thing, it's bleeding quite a bit. It's such a mess. Blood bat. Right, that's him done on there. All sheep and lambs done. Well, we didn't do anything with the sheep, just run them through it. So we done the Heptavac P, weighing and the click. Now, there's 327 lambs, I think, in this batch. Normally, if I'm doing that work in the race, it is very heavy duty work, wrestling lambs. Have to say, I have to say, it was a breeze, absolute breeze in this machine. And I actually couldn't credit it enough for that job with lambs. And actually quite good for yo's. You've seen the yo in it there. Oh, you see me finger. I give myself a good jag of Heptavac P there now, but just the one, usually happens. But anyway, so actually a good machine for sheep as well. I thought it was specifically for lambs, small lambs, but works well for yo's as well. Uh, at a nice height, well subdued when the floor drops. Very good. I would say equally as good as, well, I've never used one, but thinking about a, a conveyor where your sheep is pinned at the sides and her feet are off the ground. Same thing on that device. Your sheep is immobilized because she's no power. Her feet aren't actually touching the ground. So very easy to do any jobs with them, such as drenching, warming, injecting. Flaws, what's the downside to it? Look, I suppose there is a major downside to it. Uh, I have a batch of another hundred or so lambs on another farm. Is it that mobile? Yes, it is mobile, but it's not as mobile as we'll say the other race, my Stanley race there. But it's very hard to have it everywhere. A machine that can do so much has to be bulky, a little bit of weight, and it's not actually overly heavy, but that is the downside to it. It's a little bit heavy, a little bit awkward for moving. Uh, but is it a machine that I'd have sitting in the shed for a handling system? Absolutely very very well thought out machine i have to say everything from your draft in here to the gates are very good it's very very well thought out anti-backing gates here uh, you'll see them here that uh, fall back and in actual fact if your sheep aren't used to them or you don't want to use them you can actually pop them you can actually pop them back in you'll see that there you just pop the screw in and hold your anti-backing thing out of the way uh, fully adjustable you can move them in or out well set up here as well of the clock there mounts for different devices as well you can stick your phone there if you're using we'll say for example the sheep ireland app so i have to say credit to the two collar boys nick and jack absolutely tremendous bit of engineering and i do in like i you may see me in some of the other videos i do fiddle about i have a workshop i have an engineering background so i fully appreciate the level of thought and manufacturing that went into this machine. I understand the time and the thinking that went into it. So it's a credit to the two boys, fair play to them. And I wish them all the best in the future. I've no doubt this machine will go places. Very, very, very successful machine. I've no doubt about it. So uh, yeah, I'd recommend it to anybody. And as I say, I'm not getting paid for this in any way whatsoever. Uh, I actually rang Nick, I got chatting to him uh, and I asked him, would he let me have a trial run of it? Just to see if I, uh, liked it and something I would definitely consider by him because on our new uh, grant scheme that's coming out for farmers there's actually 60% of a grant for welfare and safety this machine falls under it as well 60% is a decent grant now I'm not just fully sure on the costings of it contact the boys directly thanks very much to the boys for letting me try it out couldn't recommend it highly enough so that's it for today folks I hope you enjoyed the video if you did Give us a like, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I remember every day with sheep is a school day.